with MonsterCon TV. I'm here at Texas Frightmare Weekend talking to Jason Mathern, the director of the Cockface Killer movies. So are you enjoying the weekend? How's it going so far? Uh, it's the best weekend of the year, every year. Love it. Awesome. So um, tell us a little bit about the Cockface Killer movies. How many movies are there and what's the main plot? Okay, well, yeah, yeah. I've made three Cockface films. There's Attack of the Cockface Killer, Gorgasm, which was just re-released last week. Uh, and then Grime Wave is Cockface 3. And yeah, the cockface killer goes around. He finds people having sex, and uh, the movies are pretty extreme. Like it's usually real sex, and it's usually gross sex too. Like not attractive sex, like disgusting sex. And he just gets pissed about it. So he's angered by sex, so he kills people. He's kind of like a mongoloid, I guess you can call him that. So he can't have sex, so that would piss you off too if you couldn't have a release, you know. Is that why his cock is on his face? Well, he has a dick too. He really does have. But normal. But he's also got one on his chin. I'm really confused now. Yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to use the one that God gave him, so he has to... So where did the inspiration come from for this movie? I'm just curious, because it's a very interesting concept and premise. Yeah, a long time ago, my friend Jared Scallions came up with the idea. And he's like, man, Attack of the Cockface Killer. I was like, let's make the movie. Okay, yeah, okay. That was it. That was the whole... That started it. it that... that was it. <laughs> You're like, so we just did it. Yeah, did you... So how long did it take to film it? Uh, it usually takes, start to finish on a movie takes two years. Like it might take, even if it takes me just a month to shoot it, it takes two years to make the movie. So is it the editing and everything yeah, that makes the process work? A lot of times you'll go back and get, get the most important stuff done first. Like the main actors you want to get out of the way so you don't have to bother them again. And then your good friends that you don't mind harassing later, yeah, you harass them later. But every movie I've ever made takes two years. Okay. Yeah, because you know, the, with different schedules for different types. So you are a filmmaker. You're here at Texas Frightmare Weekend, and you every love Texas. Year. I love coming to Texas Frightmare every year. I'll never not be here. Awesome. Yeah. But you're actually from New Orleans. So you yeah. find it difficult to make movies in New Orleans. And I know a lot of people in Texas are talking about how great it is here making movies. Uh, New Orleans doesn't want me to be making movies there. They want, like, real movies to be made there, you know, like name actors and not sex exploitation films. But I don't care. I know everybody in New Orleans. It's a very small town, and I can get away with whatever I want. And that's why I could never make those movies outside of New Orleans. No way. Yeah, because of all the real stuff. Yeah, because it's, you know, I, I find, it's, it's you know, I, I know a lot of degenerates. I am one, but I mean, I know people way worse than me. And uh, I kind of, I own a bar in the city, and that's how I meet everybody. Um, the bar doesn't close, so I know a lot of people who have drinking problems. And if you want to, like, basically work off your tab... You come through me. So you employ actors by working them off of the tab, like getting them to work their tab off? Not the real actors, but the people I'm exploiting. Oh, okay. I get it. I got it. That's, this, this is interesting. I make exploitation films. I'm not yeah. lying about yeah. that. No, I know. I know. I know. And what table are you with? Wild Eye Releasing. Okay. And they just re-released your second cockpit. Yeah. They, they have uh, Stab in the Face, which is the second film I made, which is not exploitation. That's a straight horror film. And they have Gorgasm and Grime Wave. So the second and third Cockface films. And I have a new movie that I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll have it next year. Okay, great. Uh, didn't you just have a screening for another movie recently? Yeah, that's the, the new movie's called Silk Scream. And uh, it's not out or anything like that. We just kind of wrapped it up. We showed it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but no matter what I do with it, it I'll have it next year. Okay, great. So you'll be here back at Texas Premier Weekend, and you'll have it. Is it the Wild Eye release table? Yeah, definitely. Do you, so you primarily work with them? Yeah, they're cool. Well, thank you for your time, and thank you for letting us talk to you about uh, Cockface Killer and everything you're working on. Thank you. Awesome. See you in the bar. Yeah, I'll see you in the bar. <laughs> this is Jason Mathurin, the director of Cockface Killer movies. Check him out if you're ever in New Orleans. What bar do you work at? Uh, it's Miss Mays. It's called Miss Mays. It doesn't close. It's my bar. So if you need a drink in New Orleans, go to Miss Mays. And we'll, we're at Texas Frightmare Weekend. MonsterCon TV. Thank you. Thank you.